Thanks for joining me again today. Have you ever had cookies or cake or ice cream or candy, you name it, anything with sugar in it? Have you ever had it in front of you and you've been told not to touch it? Hey guys, I'm gonna go get your friends real quick, so um, don't eat the cookies, okay? Don't eat the cookies. I'll be right back. A few moments later. You guys, you weren't supposed to eat the cookies until I brought your friends back. What are you doing? Or usually on holidays like Halloween, when we gather a lot of candy, we might sit down and eat too much of it and get a tummy ache. If you are constantly moving, is it easy when someone asks you to stay still? What about when you see a present that you know is for you, but you've been told not to open it? Today we're talking about self-control. Self-control is a fruit of the spirit. Reading our memory verse today is Sophia Porcala. Good morning, church. Today's scripture says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Galatians 22 through 23. Thanks, Sophia. Join me and let's go to ancient Israel to hear our story today. Cool, I'm back. God's love grows in and out of us. Imagine how a tree grows. It has roots and that's our friendship with God. The fruit on the tree is the good that grows in our lives because of God. The fruit we're talking about today is self-control. I have this present today, but I'm not going to open it right now and I'm also not going to tell you what's inside. You can guess at home what might be in here or maybe when during today's story, I might open it. Do you think you can practice self-control? Self-control is wanting to do something, but knowing that you shouldn't. Like this present. You want me to open it, but I'm not ready to open it yet. You might be really excited and anxious, but you're going to have to practice your self-control until I'm ready. What did it look like? <gasps> did you pet it? Did it smell like candy? Was it blueberry? Self-control is not always an easy thing, but when we have God, He helps make it easier. There's times where we're practicing self-control because we're following the rules or doing what someone told us to do. Okay, okay. Clearly we need to set some rules. Rule number one, you will not touch anything. Uh-huh. What about the floor? Yes, you may touch the floor. What about the air? Yes, you may touch the air. Okay, rule number two, you will not bother me while I'm working. Rule number three, you will not cry, or whine, or laugh, or giggle, or sneeze, or burp, or fart. So no, no, no annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? In today's story, I'm going to tell you a sad and serious story about Jesus. But the reason I'm telling you this story is because Jesus used self-control. There was something he didn't want to do, but he knew that he needed to do it. Jesus died on the cross for us because we sin. And when he died on the cross, we were forgiven all of our sins. Jesus wasn't looking forward to doing this, but he knew this was the only way that we would be forgiven of our sins. When Jesus was arrested by the religious leaders, he said to them, Do you not think I could call on my father and he'll send me his angels? 
If I don't do this, then the scriptures will not be fulfilled. What Jesus was talking about here is scriptures that were written a long time before he was born into this world. <laughs> Jesus has the power to do anything. And these religious leaders were being mean to him. He could have stopped them. He could have walked away. He didn't have to die on the cross. He could have made his own choices. But he did what was best for us. Jesus let the soldiers nail his hands and feet to the cross. He wasn't excited about doing this and he was probably in pain and he was probably embarrassed, but he knew that it was going to be worth it because he loved us so much. The religious leaders were so mean that after Jesus died, they even divided up his clothes between them. And they put up a sign above his head that said, this is Jesus, King of the Jews. This was them making fun of Jesus. These guys were so mean to him. And Jesus could have done anything that he wanted. He could have used his power to stop them, to get off of the cross, but he used his self-control and he allowed it to happen because of his love for us. Believe it or not, it wasn't just the soldiers that were making fun of Jesus. It was also some of the people that were walking by. They said some really mean things to him. Can't you just save yourself? Didn't he say he was the son of God? Jesus had the power to hop off that cross and walk away, but he used self-control and let everything happen because it was God's plan. Jesus has more power than any superhero out there. One that I can think of who is big and strong is the Hulk. Imagine, Jesus is even more powerful and stronger than the Hulk or even your favorite superhero. Now let's head back to modern day. Self-control is a fruit of the Spirit and it comes directly from God. Jesus used a lot of self-control in this story. He could have used his power to knock these guys down and run away. He could have hopped off that cross. He could have said whatever he wanted to say to the people who were being mean to him, but he didn't. He used self-control. Self-control is a fruit of the Spirit. Jesus died and came back to life three days later for us. And now we get to have a relationship with Jesus and we get to call him our best friend. Jesus died to give us the best present ever. Oh, I wonder what's inside. You want to know what it is? It's Jesus himself. He gave us the gift of having a relationship with him. And that is honestly the best present you could ever receive. After Jesus left this earth, he gave us the Holy Spirit. Would you please join me in prayer today? Well, Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to come together and learn from you. We love you and we thank you. In your name, amen. I have another fun science experiment, so let's go. Welcome back to the super fun science lab. I have a fun experiment today to show you how our self-control is strongest when we anchor ourselves in God. So I have two balloons here and I'm going to blow one up with just air and the other one I'm going to add some pennies to. So give me one second. Okay, so now I have the one with the pennies and the one with just air. Which one do you think is going to stay in place when I fan it with my hand? This one or this one? <laughs> I 
Okay, let's try something else. <laughs> self-control is a fruit of the spirit. And with God's help, we can have self-control even when life gets out of control. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next week. Bye.